Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. How many of you back up your work on a regular basis? Let's see by a show of hands. Hmm, not too many of you, and I can tell some of you are lying. Backing up and archiving your work is very important. Let's take a look at some procedures. How many of you do work on your Mac? Either maybe some word processing, maybe some artwork, could be anything. It's a good idea to back this up and archive it from time to time. A lot of things can happen. I mean, there's the catastrophic failure, like your hard drive failing or your laptop getting stolen. And there's also just simply accidentally deleting a file or maybe modifying a file, not realizing you're modifying the original, not a copy, and you lose your work. Having a backup and an archive will help you prevent these sort of things. So, backing up is something that should be done on a regular basis, usually using a piece of software on your computer. For instance, you may use the program Backup, which is an Apple program that comes with your .Mac subscription. What Backup allows you to do is schedule regular backups or do it manually. And it can save it to a hard drive or even to a remote server or to your .Mac account if you don't have too much data to back up. The great thing about Backup is that it just works and it doesn't incrementally. So after your first backup of a lot of data, it's only backing up anything that's changed. Now, if you've moved to Leopard, there's already better ways to do this. There's, of course, Time Machine. No, that's not it. Hold on. No, that's not it either. That's definitely not it. There we go. Okay, so Time Machine is basically built into Leopard and it works automatically. You just have to give it an external dedicated hard drive and it will automatically back up your stuff. Now it's pretty brutal the first time you run it because what you should do is just tell it to back up your entire computer. And this means backing up gigabytes of data. So the first time you run it, do it overnight. But then after that it's only backing up what's absolutely necessary and it will do it on an hourly basis. So the great thing about this is not only is it protecting your data, but say if you make a mistake and you want to revert to an older version, you usually have one that's no more than an hour or two old. So it's very useful. Now archiving is kind of the same type of thing. So usually you don't do it as often and you usually do it to permanent media like a CD or DVD. So all Macs for a while now have come with CD burners or DVD burners in them. So all you need to do is buy yourself a stack of DVDs and I usually just get them, pick them up at a spool and you can get them at pennies a CD or pennies a DVD. So really they don't cost very much. And then what I do is I take my documents folder and every once in a while I burn that to a DVD. Or if there's a specific project I'm working on and say I've just completed it, I'll burn just that project to a CD or DVD. Sometimes I'll actually burn two copies and put them in different locations. It's always a good idea maybe to prevent against something catastrophic like a fire to have a backup somewhere else. So maybe at a friend or relative's house or at the office as opposed to home or vice versa. Archiving is a great thing too because it allows you then to clear off space on your hard drive once you're really done with the project and know that you've got probably two copies of it elsewhere just in case you ever need to go back to it. Now if you want to back up even better then you probably want to do it off-site. That means using some sort of internet uh, service where you can back up to a hard drive somewhere else through FTP. A lot of software such as Backup and some third-party utilities allow you to do this. So you should look into that. Same thing for archiving. And if you're even just backing up to a local external drive, one of the things you can do is have two of these and have them in different locations. For instance, I have an external drive at work and I have one at home. I back up to both. So I know that at one location is my laptop and, my, and one backup and the other location is the other backup. So they're never in the same place. I don't do this every day but it's nice to know I have a fairly recent backup at another location. I'll put a list of some third party software with this post at MacMost.com for you to check out if you're not interested in using just Time Machine and Backup. So Backup, Archive, it will be good for your work and it will help you sleep better. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost. Mm -hmm.